Okay, uh, we're here. We're going to try a second test with the Dynamic Perception. Um, it's a stage one. Um, I'm using a Sapphire Pro unit mounted to a stage one here. Um, Sapphire Pro is sort of like a Emotomo uh, TB3. It does uh, pan and uh, tilt. Um, I will say I'm really happy with it. Um, super lightweight, uh, very low profile, I guess. Uh, it might be the right uh, word. For those of you that have used the TB3, you know it can get a little uh, bulky and boxy. So really um, liking this uh, unit, this uh, setup here. I've um, got a uh, time-lapse view intervalometer um, attached to a Canon 5D Mark III. We've got a USB out um, coming from the camera, USB out uh, going into the camera there. It's a little tight connection. Uh, the guys at Dynamic Perception actually do ship a larger L bracket, so you have plenty of room. I'm using really right stuff here for the moment. Um, I've got a Kessler battery. Uh, it's powering both the camera and the um, slider. And this is the NMX uh, controller right the, here. This is what sort of sends the controls to the motors. So we've got a motor there, there, and also there. Um, if you look at these three lights and these cables, um, one's for the, the X and the Y, one's for the rotation, and then uh, the other one sort of powers the tilt. So um, you have that. And this cable right here, uh, two and a half mil uh, male um, to male, sort of is how we're gonna get the signal out of the view into the NMX uh, to power this slide. So view sort of known as a ramper, um, be able to go from day to night. We're gonna try that here, uh, a little cloudy. And again, uh, main thing here is just to uh, test it. Been having a little challenges, been going to the community and Facebook, getting some uh, tips and uh, tricks. So we're gonna try that again. Um, next thing what I'll do is I've got power to the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the dynamic perception app. And uh, we'll go ahead and program the, uh, uh, the move that we want to make. And let's see where we got to put that at. There we go. Okay, you can see here that the uh, intervalometer is coming up. Uh, big Edge time lapse. So we're going to slide that to, to on. And it's reading and it sees that little gearbox. So the first thing we, we got to do is we have to come over here and we've got to put this thing into slave mode. See slave mode is right down at the bottom. We're just going to toggle that over. So that's the slave mode. I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to come over here to the unit. And what you want to look for is these two uh, bottom lights. And when you have the light on the right, along with the light on the left, both lit, that means that it's in slave mode. So we have that. Um, while I'm here, I want to go ahead and put that into the AUX2 port. There we go. Okay, let's uh, get our move. We'll hit go. And uh, this is the first screen. Um, it has a, your X, Y up there. This is your, your pan and tilt. It's like a little virtual joystick. So we'll see if this is sort of working for us. And you can see the unit is definitely moving, which is a good thing. So we'll slide that over. Say to the starting point. We'll do a left to right uh, move here. Looks pretty good there. And we come into here. And you can see we're just going to move that, move that just a little bit, like right there. And then let me just go ahead and check, see if I like the tilt on it. It's all right. I'm going to move the, the tilt, just the tilt. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Set that down a little. All right, close enough for government work. Just a test. 
And uh, we have a start button. Go ahead and hit that. It says set start. So I'm just going to set my starting point. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to work on the ending point. So we'll come back over here and we'll go ahead and move it. You want to do a better job with your cables. Uh, Dynamic Perception gives you a couple of cable ties so you can really tighten up your uh, your kit. Yeah, this is just for a test, so I'm uh, just wanting to really just make sure I get everything working. And we'll just slide it over. So do about right there's good. And then we'll just sort of figure we'll pan it that way a little bit. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna set the uh, the end here. And I'm gonna say set end. Okay, I'm gonna hit the next button. So this is a really important screen here. This is where you're setting up your exposure time, your buffer, your interval. And the key trick here is that you wanna make sure that your interval is pretty low. So as it was explained to me, I've got an interval set here at two seconds. Um, Guinness, what it was explained to me was that that means that as soon as the NMX receives a signal from the uh, view, it's going to wait about two seconds before starting its move. So you'll need to really take into consideration the interval on your view uh, as well as the interval that you want to set here. Um, so two seconds is actually pretty good. I feel good about that. The other thing is um, another mistake that I made was focusing on the video length. You know, I said, well, it's GC a day to night, maybe about three hours. And I just adjusted the, the shots, frame rate, and things like that to get me a three hour move. And that really didn't work. Um, it moved very, very slowly. What you really want to focus on is your shots. So figure uh, about 10 seconds. Uh, we got six shots a minute. 16, that's 360. Figure three hours. So um, I don't know, let's see, just under a thousand maybe. So. Uh, we can go, I don't know, it'll probably extend out a little longer. Maybe we go um, 800 to 1,000. I'm just trying to get a test here. So I'm going to say about 800. So I'm going to come into my frames and um, we'll just make that 800. That should be pretty good. And let's see, we got 800. Okay, 810. And we'll go next. All right, this is where you can program your um, ramp in and ramp out uh, with this screen. I'm just keeping everything really, really basic. Just want a straight move. Um, plenty of tutorials on the NMX, so you can learn all that stuff there. Not that this is a tutorial, but just really more of a test. I'm just filming it, see if I catch any errors. Um, we'll go ahead and send the motors to start. And there we go. It's coming around. While that's moving, uh, we're ready to start the program. So before we do that, we've got to go set the view up. And the view's cranking. All right, we'll go up to, uh, I, know this, I don't know if you can focus on this or not, but go to time-lapse. Hit the time lapse mode. Um, we'll do auto ramping, that's what we want here. Interval mode, auto variable. They also have external aux too. Um, as I, again, I've been learned is that that's really when you're looking for a signal being sent from some other device to trigger the view. So we're gonna move that to auto variable. Uh, day interval, 10 seconds. Night interval, 30 seconds. Okay, destination camera. Um, that means that basically uh, the image will be uh, stored in the camera, the XMP file, which has your adjustments. So you want to transfer that to the SD card at the end of your shoot. Um, we'll look at the ramping options. Night exposure. Um, we probably, let's just go, we'll just make that no stops there. 
Well, actually, maybe negative. We got some wacky lights. ISO, um, max shutter. Okay, various parameters you can do there. Okay, so we get out of there. And I think that's ready to, to start. So, um, another tip, I think, again, I don't know if it's Zachary or not, but someone had said that you should start um, your setup here first. So, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and we'll start the program. Okay, it's waiting. And we'll go ahead and let's uh, look at our exposures here. We're at 2.8. We'll just overexpose um, a little bit, right about there, and uh, go back up to here, and we'll start it. All right, we've got camera trigger. Okay, that's triggering. Let's go see if we're calculating the shots. Got about three shots there. That's about right. So it looks like we're all set here. All right. So we'll come back and we'll uh, see how it is later in the evening. And we'll sign off for now. Thank you. Okay, um, we're out here. Um, it's been uh, probably about three and a half hours or so. And there's about 744 shot uh, shots here. I can't remember how many I set. If it was 800 or 900, but um, you can definitely see that we've had a lot of movement. Uh, started there, and we're now here, and it's still going. Probably just has a little bit more. Um, so successful test. Um, pretty excited about that. And uh, we'll call it a night. Thank you.